Hi, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film, Joseph, playing as part of 11th European Union Human Rights Film Days. Joining us now is the director of the film, Aurel, uh, from France. So um, you're, you're actually an illustrator. You work for different daily newspapers and mainstream media. Uh, as a cartoonist, you have published around 20 books. Uh, and Joseph is your first feature film. Uh, the film won several awards from different festivals, such as Best Animated Film from Caesars, Best European, uh, European Animated Feature Film from European Film Awards, etc. It's not surprising, actually, because it's an amazing work. Um, the film both focused on the story of Catalan illustrator uh, Josep Bartoli and the event known as Retirada, a dark period of the history. In 1939, Spanish refugees fled across the French border to escape the civil war, and they are imprisoned in French concentration camps. Um, so my first question will be, when did you first encounter the work of artist Joseph Bartoli, and what fascinated you about this man's story? Well, um, it's, a, it's quite a long story. I, 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 I will try to, to, to say it in a few words. Um, I, I discovered, uh, first of all, the, the work of Joseph Bartoli, his drawings, first of all, um, about 10 years ago, perhaps a little bit more. Um, it was in, the, in, um, I, I, in a book, in a book uh, written by his nephew, uh, Georges Bartoli, uh, a book about the, the, the exile of his whole family, his father, his mother, and uncles and aunts uh, from the Spanish Civil War and escaping the, the Spain and, and coming to France um, in, in, the, the, in order to, 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 to found a, a, a place to be a safe place and a, a, a peaceful place um, and uh, it was not exactly as they was expecting um, but um, this book is uh, illustrated by the Joseph uh, drawings uh, so the, 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 the drawings of George uncle and um, those drawings are so uh, powerful fascinating, they're, they're semi-realistic, but with um, uh, a drawing so um, clear and, and uh, at the same time um, uh, with um, uh, like, just like a caricature, but not as a caricature. You you know, it's like like editing the the subjects, just just drawing it, and so it's um it was it was for me a, 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 a huge discover, and uh, I I felt in love with this work uh, in the in the at, 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 in the moment. Mm -hmm. And how long did it take the whole process, the filming and the create? creation of the story, etc. Well, um, when I first discovered it, uh, the drawings, I then I met the, 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 the Joseph Newfew, uh, George, and um, he, he permitted uh, me to, he allowed me to, 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 um, to discover more about uh, his uncle, uh, his uh, works, um, to meet his uh, widow, to meet uh, some people who very well known uh, Joseph, and uh, after that, uh, I I began with a like an investigation, a journalistic investigation, to 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 have the the, the more information I, I can I can get, and um, then I try to uh, work with um, a scriptwriter and I found the scriptwriter Jean-Louis Milizy, the scriptwriter. I called him because he was a scriptwriter well known in France for um, for movies, for f feature movies 
um, he wrote for uh, Robert Guédiguian. And uh, then um, we worked together for two years, about two years. Um, and after those two years, the French producer entered the, 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 the project and uh, it, it took three years to, to have the, the budget and the, the money for, for make, making the, the movie. And after that, we, it took two years more to make the movie. So it, at, at the end, it's 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I have a question related to the narrative of the film, actually. Uh, the narrative is shaped around Serge, a dying French gendarme, and his grandchild. Could you tell us how did you shape the story? Um, it, was, it was a Jean-Louis Milizy idea, actually. Um, um, I, when, I, when I came to him with all my my informations, my my documentation about about Joseph Bartoli and my needs, my my meanings, my my intentions about the, the movie. Um, he 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 come he came back to me a few weeks later with a, a first synopsis where all the, the 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 all the the the, the scripts the, the 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 important facts of the script was already there and uh, he decided to 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 put the story in the mouth of uh, of this grandfather um to answer one of my um my need or my my volunteer uh to sp speak about uh, transmission and to transmission of memory uh, between generations. So um, it, it's really uh, uh, an idea from uh, Jean-Louis Milesi and um, um, most of all, it was also because, not most of all, but it was also because um, he, he, he was needing a, a, a reason uh, for um, telling this story, uh, being a Frenchman, so it's it's a Spanish story. We are we are uh, telling, we are we are writing, and uh, we are not Spanish. Uh, is French? I'm French. So um, Jean Louis told me at this time that he, he was needing a, a reason to to tell this story from this French point of view. So. He invented the, the 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 character of Serge to tell this story from a French character. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I really like this uh, story, actually, personally. Um, so, um, I would like to talk about a little bit about the technique of the film because it's really amazing. Um, you're a newspaper cartoonist, like Bartoli was. Mm -hmm. You created this very unique aesthetic in the film. It was shot in cinemascope using two, uh, using a, a two D animation. Can you tell us about the aesthetic of the film? How did you create it, and how yeah. was the process? There is two uh, main aesthetics in the film. <clears throat> the first one is a very classical one uh, for two D animation. Um, it's uh, all the contemporary part of the movie, uh, I mean all the parts um, with the, the, the di dialogue between the grandfather and in his grandson. Um, and the other part of the movie, the other aesthetic part of the movie is the memory, the memory of, of Serge and the, the, the historical part of the movie. So this is the, the main uh, original part uh, when we speak of aesthetic and technique. Um, I would really um, make an homage to uh, our work, our art, uh, that is drawing. And drawing doesn't mean uh, movement. 
So I would like to just put drawing on screen and, um, and trust drawings to tell a story. Um, I, I get the intuition that movement is not obligatory and we can give life to drawings without movement because in a newspaper um, I have to make drawings, uh, just one drawing, it's not like a comic with several drawings, it's just one drawing um, quickly made, quickly read and um, with the, the wall action, the wall movement concentrated in just one drawing. And I would like to, to try to put that on screen and to give life to those, that type of drawing, just uh, adding sound, adding music, adding voices, adding special effects. Um, I used to explain that uh, uh, it's it's like if um, if I put a camera on my shoulder um, just to 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 record my 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 sheet of paper when I draw, and so you see the drawing, but the camera is connected to my to to my mind, and you can see my drawings, but how I can see him, I can see it with my mind, with my eyes, with my ears. So I, it's just a drawing, but I can see it living. I can see it with sound and uh, et cetera. Really amazing. I mean, uh, I never, I never uh, remember seeing a film like this before. Uh, really unique style. And if there's anything you would like to add, uh, please feel free to comment. Unfortunately, our time is limited. So uh, yes. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, perhaps because it it will be um, released in in in, uh, in Turkey thanks to this festival. I think, uh, of course, it's not a, a movie made uh, to 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 speak about uh, refugees. It 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 it's a movie about um, drawing and the uh, uh, drawing artist called Joseph Bartoli and his life and his exile, his own exile. But it, this, this um, movie sound uh, differently or specifically with all the, the news of uh, refugees in the, uh, around the world Europe at, uh, at this time. Um, so it's, I, I hope it could, Seeing this movie could, could help people to, to, to think about all the refugees that are uh, still um, trying to escape from, uh, from war zone and uh, dictatorship and uh, all that um, stuff. Hopefully. We share the same wish with you. And thank you so much for joining our session and sharing the story of Bartoli with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.